And more breaking news coming in. Bangladesh's interim government has decided to cancel the holiday of August 15, the day marked as Day of National Mourning. Now remember, on August 15, 1975, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the founder of Bangladesh, was assassinated along with a large number of his family members in the city of Dhaka. Now, Sheikh Hasina, the ousted Prime Minister of Bangladesh and the daughter of Mujibur Rahman, has called it a bit to kill her father's legacy. So, this is the political tussle taking place inside Bangladesh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm joined by my colleague Siddhant, who's been tracking all the developments coming in from the political turmoil in Bangladesh. So, Siddhant, this is a very controversial move coming in from the interim government headed by Nobel laureate uh, Muhammad Yunus. When it comes to uh, the memory of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the founder of Bangladesh, the man who fought against Pakistan to establish the nation of Bangladesh, this will not go down well with the Awami League supporters in Bangladesh. Well, look, uh, you know, one thing is for sure, Ayushman, that this government, interim government, and in fact, the other political parties, political forces in Bangladesh, None of them are interested in carrying forward the legacy of founding father, Sheikh Mujibir Rahman. In fact, I would also like to draw the attention uh, to, the, to the kind of commentary we are getting to hear from the ministers, uh, the advisors in the interim government and the political parties. There is not a one single statement uh, for, uh, for, uh, for, for those who were responsible to ransack the bust and the statues of Sheikh Mujibir Rahman not just in Dhaka, but all across Bangladesh. Now we are getting to know that this particular uh, decision has been taken by the interim government. There was a meeting of advisor which took place that the National Morning Day on August 15th, there's going to be no holiday on that day. Now, everybody knows that they hold a very, very important, important place in the history of Bangladesh and also uh, for the followers of Sheikh Mujibir Rahman. Uh, this government, this uh, in some government or political parties may try to erase the legacy of Sheikh Mujibir Rahman, but history is going to remain uh, there very much that who fought for the country and who got Bangladesh freed from Pakistan. So, you know, there's going to be the new framework which is going to put in place by the interim government. Now, what that framework will look like, because as, as I would also like to draw your attention to what Yunus, Mohammed Yunus said uh, at, on his arrival at the airport, that this is the second spring, this is the second, uh, you know, fight that they fought. So, you know, are they going to do the restart by forgetting uh, founding fathers of the country? What is going to be the roadmap ahead? What is going to be the place for Sheikh Mujibur Rahman? in the books, in the history books, and also uh, in the, as far as the daily running of the government uh, is concerned. That is perhaps something which an uh, interim government should decide and come out with a plan, because this would perhaps anger the Awami League supporters, and also, in fact, those who have fought for the, for the freedom of the, of, of the country. Like Sheikh Mujibur Rahman not just told uh, respect in Bangladesh, but even in country like India. Because, you know, even Indians, uh, uh, you know, acknowledge the contribution he made and the way he fought. Uh, were, were, were with Pakistanis and then, you know, right. got his country. So, you know, it is an emotional issue. But one thing is for sure that it looks like this government has come to an understanding that they want to end the legacy of Mujibir Rahman, the founding father. It's the new beginning. So, so you know, they want to do a restart from uh, by, 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 by starting their history right. with this, with the July uh, uh, uprising. Right, thank you, Siddhant, for joining us with that piece of breaking news. So clearly an attack on the legacy of Mujibur Rahman. Mujibur Rahman, who is a hero in India as well, and you can't have any significant change in any nation by erasing your history. Uh, but this is a very controversial move coming in from the interim government headed by Nobel laureate Mohammed Yunus.